Hey, how you doing? I'm Rafi again here with K Suspension, and today what we're going to be doing is installing a C-clip eliminator kit and chromoly shafts from Yukon Gear and Axle into a Ford 8.8. We also have Iron Rock Off-Road Full Truss Kit with anti-wrap leaf spring perches and new shock mounts. So we're going to show you how to get all of this into that 8.8 for your Jeep. So after you got your uh, shock removed and your brake line is disconnected, it's time to go ahead and remove this axle. got the axle out, we're going to go ahead and pop the cover, drain it, clean it, inspect it, make sure everything's okay, and then pop out those C-clips and remove the axles. All right, so we got the diff cover off, drained all the fluids, inspected it, everything looks kosher. We got the bearing cap removed so that we can remove the Allen key that's holding in our carrier here. Um, so this is worth a Detroit locker. So we're having to remove the center pin here in order to get the C-clips out. Our company dog. Now that we got the C-clips out, we're going to go ahead and remove the axle shafts. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and remove the calipers. Set these off to the side. I'm anal about my bolts. You can do as you please. I'm just going to go ahead and set them back in. Take off these rotors, and we'll pull the shafts. Ooh. Oh, now I know where that noise was coming from. There's going to be four 14 mil bolts holding on your uh, brake assembly for the backing plate. Once you get them removed, there's going to be flange nuts on the other side. Don't start them from the back. I made that mistake. Just go and unbolt it from the front here. Take both sides off. And set those off to the side. And now we can go ahead and get ready to start stripping her. Now that we got everything all taken apart, put the diff cover back on just to keep any contaminants from getting inside. Make sure you got your safety glasses on. You guys know what I'm talking about. Get your grinder, cut off wheels, and we're gonna get this thing all stripped down. Alright, so now that we got the tubes all ground out and flat clean, we're going to go ahead and clean up the pumpkin, get it ready for the truss and spring perches. So now that we have everything all set and ready to go, we got this all grinded up and clean, tubes all ready to go, uh, we're going to go ahead and install the new leaf perches. Now, the Iron Rock off-road instruction sheet tells you to put your uh, diff pumpkin over at about 10 degrees. I made mine at about 13. You can customize it to your own choice. We then have to set in the leaf spring perches. On either end, you want to uh, put it on at 3 inches and 11 sixteenths to the outside edge. So you're going to go ahead and measure from the backing plate to the leading edge of that leaf spring perch. And you want to go ahead and set your perch at a good 0 degrees. Go ahead and tack them on, burn them in. Hey guys, I'm Tabit from K-Suspension, co-owner with Rafi. Uh, we, we went ahead and got all the perches down uh, where they need to be, measured them, make sure they're at the zero uh, to the pinning angle that we have here. So everything's good to go here. We're going to go ahead and get everything tacked up. We're going to pop it underneath the Jeep, make sure the measurements are still correct, just to make sure everything's right, and then we'll go ahead and burn them all the way in.
All right, so now that we got the spring perches welded on, we're gonna go ahead and hook up our shock mounts. So to do this, from the housing here, we wanna measure out six and a half inches to the center where the bolt goes through for the shock. So that measures out to about right there for us. You wanna go ahead and get your angle finder, set it to a perfect 90 degrees, mark it, tack it on, burn them in. All right, so now that we got everything all welded up, we need to actually move the breather. The original breather is gonna get blocked by the truss, so we plug that hole, we're gonna drill a new one. The tap that we're using for the 8.8 breather is going to be 7 16 by 20. That is gonna be the thread pitch. So we're gonna drill a new hole, tap it, throw it in. All right, now that we got everything all mocked up, ready to go, we've uh, moved our breather tube inlet. We got our truss right on where we need to be with the angle finder. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and burn this on, then we can get ready for paint. Okay, this completes our tutorial for the Iron Rock Off-Road Trust Kit with spring perches and shock mounts. Everything is all burned in, ready to go, and ready for paint. Uh, this is going to be part one of our video. Please make sure you check the description below for part two. Uh, it's going to be for the Yukon Gear and Axle C-Clip Eliminator with Chromoly shafts. Uh, after that, we'll get her bolted in and get some videos trail riding. Take care from everyone here at K-Suspension.